Declutter and deep cleaning. This is by far one of the easiest things you can do when it comes to living a happier and simpler life. You know, getting rid of the things that you no longer love or need, or just getting rid of, you know, physical clutter in general, duplicate items you don't necessarily use, always donate before throwing things out. Only throw things out if they don't work. Make sure you donate while decluttering because we have enough junk in the landfill as it is. Once when you get rid of all of the unnecessary things in your house and only have the things that you truly need and then you do a nice deep clean. I feel like deep cleaning after decluttering, super, super simple because you don't have a bunch of junk lying around and cleaning is easier because unnecessary things are not in your way. I know for myself when I deep clean our house or even like do a little decluttering spree, when I go to bed, I feel so happy. I feel accomplished. I feel relaxed. You can focus on other things. You have a clear mentality and having again a clean space, a clutter-free space can create such a happy feeling in, you know, a more simple lifestyle. Focus in on whole foods instead of processed foods. For the longest time, I was eating processed food every day, maybe three to four times a day. Obviously, it was not healthy. You know, us humans are not meant to eat processed food 24-7. Once in a while, it's fine. None of us are perfect. But focus in on whole foods, you know, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit. Those are the things that have created such a happy glow to myself lately. And focus in again on getting my greens in every day. Focusing on the fruit that I'm eating, drinking more water than sugary processed drinks. Find a way that works for you. Like when it comes to vegetables, like there's some vegetables that I'm like, I don't want to cook them. I don't want to eat them today. So I will just make a green juice with like kale, spinach, cucumbers, one apple, blend it all together. Um, use a mesh strainer. I've been talking about this in like every video this month, but it has changed the game for me when it comes to making fresh juice that has no added BS in it compared to the juices that we see in the stores that have man-made chemicals, hurt our gut health, hurt our health in general. And I'm still learning about a lot of ingredients and learning more healthier recipes. So switching over to this whole foods diet has changed my life, has changed my energy, has changed like the way I think about things. Um, I'm less negative, I'm less groggy. And yeah, I just, again, have more energy and I'm happier. Before, when I used to eat processed food constantly and sugary things constantly, I was not the happiest. Like I would want to take a nap after eating all this food and not being as productive as I should throughout the day. So try your best to focus on adding some whole foods in your diet. If you are not a fan of vegetables, like I said, Try to find a way where you can sneak the vegetables in your diet. That way you're getting all the nutrients your body needs. Social media runs the world. Let's be honest. We are constantly on our phones looking up what people are buying, wearing, doing, listening to, watching. Instead of focusing on what everybody else is doing, instead of focusing on running to social media right when you wake up, running to social media before you go to bed, the one thing that I have done to make my life happier, especially again with me doing this as a job, is to take breaks. And I always try to like film these videos, edit them, program them, and stay off of social media for a good week or two. The only time I'll go on is to answer comments and that's it. Like I barely watch YouTube anymore. I don't go on Instagram as much as I used to. And I have noticed such a huge switch on me not comparing myself to others, me not feeling as down as I used to. And again, overall happiness with just focusing on my day-to-day -day life, focusing on what truly matters to myself instead of like what others are doing or what others are wearing or buying that might make me happy, but it, it won't. So I went through that route when I was in my early 20s, but I'm so much more happier. Like I don't wear makeup like I used to. I'm taking a huge break from makeup. Uh, maybe one day I'll add makeup in to my routine, but I'm enjoying not having 
anything. It feels so nice to have a fresh face waking up and not rushing to the mirror and spending hours doing my makeup and watching a makeup tutorial on YouTube every day. I used to do that for, I want to say like six years I used to do that. So now I don't compare myself anymore like I used to. I just treat this as a job and take breaks. And again, I know this is not everybody's job, but even if this is not your job, the amount of time that we spend on social media is so scary as a society and we all need to take a break. It's very, very simple to sign out and delete the apps. That's the best way to take breaks, I think, is sign out. You don't have to delete your account forever. Sign out, delete the app, and then go back on it within like, I don't know, a week, two weeks, even if it's just 24 hours. Take a break from social media. You will be amazed on what else is out there in the world besides being hooked on your phone or your devices. Focus on what you truly need when it comes to beauty products. We are constantly being advertised to, we're constantly comparing ourselves, and I've had my fair share of spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on beauty products to make myself look like someone else, or to make my nose slimmer, to make my face slimmer, to make my eyes look sexier, and I always was trying my best to buy the next and greatest beauty products, even though I had a bunch of beauty products at home. Nowadays, I just focus on what works for me. So nowadays, I only focus on what I truly need when it comes to my beauty routine, and it has made me so much happier because the amount of time and money that I'm saving in the morning and at night is priceless. And the last thing is creating healthy routines. I feel like nowadays people are somewhat obsessed with trying to get everything done in a day and that's not the reality we all live in because we have work or we have to take care of kids or other responsibilities. What I have learned throughout the years is creating healthier and simpler routines. For an example, every Wednesday, I focused that cleaning day on my cat's area. So his um, litter box, I will deep clean it. I will also clean the top part, deep clean his little automatic water fountain. I'll put it through the dishwasher and then hand wash the motor part. Wednesdays is dedicated to cleaning my cat's area. Another healthy routine that has helped me out when it comes to laundry is at the end of the month, I will wash our whites, all of our whites, which creates two loads. I have enough whites, like enough sheets, enough pillowcases, towels to last us an entire month because we don't have a washer and dryer. So it's best to have backups if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg washing them constantly. So it helps us out with saving money and also saving me time and creating less stress is washing all of the whites like I said, it's two loads at the end of the month. It has been so much more helpful instead of me doing our laundry, which is two loads, and then doing like all the reusable items and then doing the whites. I did that one time and I spent the entire day doing laundry and I just didn't want to waste a day, a full day just doing laundry. It's just not for me. It created a lot of stress. So I created a nice little laundry routine. Again, my laundry routine might not work for you, so you have to create your own. Try not to do all of your laundry in one day because, I mean, unless your washer is like super fast. To simplify my routine, I just try to figure out what days work best for me. Also, what days work best when it's not busy in the laundry room because we do have a bunch of tenants and we share the washer and dryer. So I notice everyone does their laundry here on the weekends. Usually Saturday and Sundays, it's packed. So. I don't do my laundry those days. I figure out during the week, when can I fit in a load? And yeah, it just works out for me that way. So the best thing you guys can do is just sit down with your little laundry routine. And if you own your own washer and dryer, feel very, very grateful and lucky because it's even more easier to create a laundry routine. Like I said, I have to like work around tenant traffic here when it comes to what days is best. But no matter what day it is, make sure you start off with one or two loads and that's it. Stop at two loads. Do not overcomplicate laundry. Do not overcomplicate cleaning as well. Like I said, Wednesdays are my 
cat cleaning days. And then usually on like Friday or Saturday, I will focus on the bathroom, depending on like if I have time that day. I always leave the bathroom for the weekends because I want it nice and clean during the week. I'll usually do the kitchen on Tuesdays and then like Thursdays, I will do the floors. So I have like this whole schedule that just works so well for me and my time. And it creates just a happier life for myself because before, again, I was trying to do everything in a day and that is not realistic. It just creates unnecessary stress and then you go to bed angry, stressed out, anxiety, and that's what I was feeling. I was feeling extremely overwhelmed and I just overloaded myself with too many household routines. So again, focus on what routine works best for you and do not, do not do everything in a day. Technically do not need to clean everything in one day. You will stress yourself out. So don't do that. Mm -hmm.